Hi, this is David Vai, and we are at IMS 2023, and I'm talking with Eric O'Dell from Monolithics. Hi, Eric. How are you doing, David? I'm doing very well, thanks. How is the show going for you? Doing pretty good. Lots of uh, traffic coming through and customers to talk to. So, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. So for people who are tuning in, uh, could you tell uh, our audience a little bit about Monolithics? Monolithics has been around for about 22 years. They develop best-in-class simulation models, both passive and active, uh, for multiple simulators, including Cadence AWR, Spectre RF. And uh, we're looking to expand that into uh, developing some 3D models, 3D EM models for Cadence Clarity. Okay, that's an excellent uh, lead into this question. So tell us a little bit more about what you're doing with uh, Clarity 3D FEM and models from Monolithics. So we've partnered with Cadence to de uh, develop some 3D models for Clarity. Uh, about 500 of them we're going to have uh, within a year uh, is the goal. By the end of the year, we're looking about 400 or so. Both a complete physics models you know, with the uh, dimensions and material properties, etc., uh, as well as what we have 3D EM brick models, which are basically uh, shell, uh, 3D shells that wrap into, uh, around a, uh, the monolithic capacitor models, circuit simulation models, to create basically the same thing as what a full property 3D EM model would be. So that 3D model has all the physical properties of the components. So there's a lot of component uh, vendor IP in that the materials and the structure. How do the component vendors protect their IP? So we partner with a lot of different vendors. So we've been in the industry again, like I said, for 22 years. And we've got a rapport with them. And they are, you know, we sign an NDA with them. So we have non-disclosure agreement to not give away their IP. And through Cadence Clarity, we can encrypt that, you know, their material properties and things like that. So they, you know, they're not seen by competitors as well as the users, and we license those models for, you know, for customers to use and simulate within Cadence Clarity. Okay, that's fantastic. So I can see two potential um, uh, customers or people that would be interested in these encrypted models, one being the component vendor who wants to get their parts out and, and you know, consumed into a, a design, or the designer who's trying to use a particular part. How do they go about getting a component developed by Monolithics and encrypted for Clarity? So uh, they can contact sales at Monolithics, and we can work with them to go over the specifications of the model, you know, what they want included, and work with them and maybe have to get with the end vendor again with an NDA. Mm -hmm. um, for vendors that are interested in having their models added to our library, uh, we have an MVP program, and they can email MVP at Monolithics.com. So our MVP program, Monolithics Vendor Partner, uh, that help, you know, gives them on our website, gives them their own page and links to their site to you know, showcases their models and things like that, uh, so it's specific to them. Okay, great. So uh, then I envision encrypted models inside a 3D simulator like Clarity and you're doing the whole system like PCB level simulation that has uh, physics based component models along right. with the PCB, so pretty accurate. I mean you're going for accuracy. Absolutely. So we, we our circuit simulation models, we are our measurement based circuit equivalent models. And of course we you know develop it in-house and we have a lot of uh, we show the model to uh, measurement validations on, on every one of the data sheets. And each model has their own data sheet. So you can see exactly what you know what you're getting in the response. There's a lot of information in the data sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, our circuit simulation models can be pad, substrate, part value scalable. A lot of stuff goes into that, uh, on the, especially on the passive side. We do have nonlinears as well, uh, and similar set of measurements that are done. You know, but of course, you also have you know your nonlinear measurements, your IVs. Uh, the models can be bias and temperature dependent, uh, and account for noise and and as well as being substrate scalable as well. Okay, that sounds great. So, last question: Somebody wants to find out more. Where should they go? Uh, they can go to the Monolithics website, www.monolithics.com, or again, call, uh, contact sales at monolithics.com. Okay, great. Thank you for your time, Eric. Have a great show.